Houston is my city. I am Houston. I am Houston. I am Houston because Houston is my home. I am Houston because Houston gave me the opportunity to succeed. I have everything in Houston. I am Houston and Houston is me. My name is Marcelo Marini. Mr. Empanada, they call me sometimes. Originally from Mendoza, Argentina, an Argentinian by birth, Italian by blood, and now a U.S. citizen by choice. In 1968, I just got in the television business and the news, and I decided to go to the United States and try. Arrive at Houston with uh, $13.65 in my pocket and looking for it, Spanish television, but it was zero, none. I worked as a busboy first, and then waiter, and then I became a maitre d' of the restaurant. And later on, I owned the place. But in 1971, I became part of the uh, CBS Channel 11, and they gave me the opportunity to do a show called Hola Amigos, 9 a.m. on Sunday for seven years. Not only music, but, you know, directions, guidance for, for the education, immigration, social issues. Television provided me to be the, you know, the first newscast in the Spanish language in 1987. We opened Telemundo. And Telemundo was also oriented to the community, open doors to whoever needs something. Public service is my, uh, probably my second wife. <laughs> my wife is 50 some years, 52 years. My second wife is 40 some years. I help people and I give the guides to the community. How we can better, how we can live in this country. You think globally and you act locally. You think universal, but you work locally. That way we can help each other. Get involved. Don't ever turn your back to an issue that is important to the community. Houston is my city. I am Houston. I am the city. For me, it's part of my heart. My name is Avi Germer. I'm an Ethiopian. I left my country in 1989. The military government took over the administration and then became a socialist government. My parents said that you gotta leave this country as soon as possible. I worked in Massachusetts more, more than eight months. Then I said, it's kind of really cold here, so I said, I need to find a place, something is a little hotter. I bought a plane ticket to Houston, and then I found uh, a job in a print shop. The owners are so nice to me, and are wonderful people, and I do really thank them still, because they gave me the opportunity to believe in me, to be working with them for 13 years. Houston is the place where opportunities are. There, there are a lot of opportunities in Houston. And I said, well, I have a plan to open my own print shop. And I start saving every penny of every income that I make. It wasn't easy. It takes a hard work. You need to believe in yourself in the first place. I believed in myself. Neighborhood centers, they gave me the opportunity to do business with them. If neighborhood centers wouldn't help me to this point. Today, uh, I can't be here. I am Houston because Houston is my home. In Houston, you can grow, you can raise your kid, and you can work, you can make a difference. Success cannot be measured by having or not having. Success can be measured by giving. I need to share and to reach for the people who really need help. My full name is Quinnan Tran McMahon, and yes, it all rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> the journey to Houston and to America really started in a rickety little boat that my grandfather was able to cobble together for our family's escape. Um, it was no longer safe for us, unfortunately, to stay in our homeland. We first came here and there were 
some Vietnamese stores already up and running and we you know, could get produce and groceries that were familiar to us. Well, it's that same experience for so many other ethnic communities here as well. Because of the entrepreneurial spirit could start up those grocery stores and supermarkets and other businesses that really cater to their ethnicity. Houston continues to be one of the largest uh, resettlement hubs for refugees from all over the world. Really serving as this refuge for people escaping political persecution, religious persecution. What drew my family to Houston is really what kept me as a grown up in Houston. And that includes the educational opportunities I was able to graduate from the University of Houston. Um, and loved the experience so much that I decided to pursue my master's degree in social work there as well. We are sitting in the workshop space for the community clock which is a nonprofit microenterprise supporting refugee women artisans and a program that I helped co-found and I'm just very passionate about certainly because of my history and uh, really see it as an homage to my family and my parents who struggled so many years ago and now to be able to give back again to refugees and women in particular to come here and to actually be paid in full for your work at the price that you set is a very empowering process for them. I am Houston because I'm an underdog um, who exceeded expectations. I mean, our family came over with nothing. Um, we worked hard to build up, to become educated, to become duly employed. I think that there are lots of my families out there. Our city, um, the more that it can welcome that, um, I think we'll be the better for it. My name is Carol Moran Santos. I moved from Guatemala in 1991. In New York, I lived for about 15 years. So we couldn't afford to live in New York because the houses were going so high. So we moved to Houston. The first two years, it was so hard. My husband would get into the closet and cry because he didn't work for a whole year. And we didn't know anybody. My daughter was accepted at New Horizon, which is part of neighborhood centers. And I remember the teachers will ask me to volunteer. And uh, just that question like changed my life. And I, I said, wow, I can really have an opportunity, you know, to become somebody else here. I, when they asked me if I wanted to work as a teacher, I thought about it and then I said, of course I would love to work. I drop uh, my daughter, you know, across the street and then I bring my son with me. Um, he stays with me after all the children are gone because they are dismissed at three. I'm really glad to have this opportunity to work for neighborhood centers and have my children with me. All the resources, um, stores, bakeries, um, restaurants that Houston offers to the different cultures, it makes me feel like I'm a, a, at home. It helped me identify myself, not um, being part of as an immigrant family, but to feel at home. I am Houston because my family find a way to succeed with all the resources that Houston has given us. Every day that I walk through this door, um, I know that I can make the difference that all the other people did in me. I'm Marcus Davis and I am 39, soon to be 40. I did all of my education here in the city of Houston, all the way from K through 12. And then I also went to uh, college here in Houston. I went to Texas Southern University. I graduated of Texas Southern University, class of 96. In being here all my life, I've had the opportunity to see the changes and the growth of the city, and I really enjoy that. Even going into other cities and, and, and looking at their diversity, or lack thereof, it's, gave, it's given me a greater appreciation for the, the, the diversity that we, that we have here in this great city. The spirit behind my entrepreneurship uh, came from my father knowing how to work hard and, 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 and give, every, give all you have was something that I got from him. Uh, and I think part of what he received was a result of what my great grandmother instilled in his life. So I'm very grateful for her. The flavor that you experience at the Breakfast Club is a result of my father who learned it from my great grandmother. And so 
yeah, if you love the grits and the way the chicken tastes, you, you got to be grateful for those two. One of the great things about Houston that I tell people is that this is the largest city you'll find with a small town feel. The Breakfast Club is a result of that mix between a big city and people being desirous of something different. There was an opportunity to provide a space that represented Houston across the country, across the nation. If you have a desire and there's a void in the market, then you feel it and you know, success will follow if you work hard, like my daddy says. <laughs> in other cities, you have this uh, class system or name system that, that you have to break through. In order to be an elected official or in order to be an astute businessman, you have to have come from a certain creed. You have to have a certain pedigree. And Houston doesn't have that, and that's the best thing about it. So that's why I am Houston, and Houston is me.